Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Waterbury Board of Education uh, regular meeting at Waterbury Arts Magnet School. Uh, we'll begin this evening with a silent prayer. Commissioner Stango, could you lead us in the pledge, please? To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and welcome, everyone. Roll call, please. Commissioner Wad. Vice President Harvey. Here. Commissioner Hernandez. Here. Commissioner Pagano. Commissioner Serrano Adorno. Here. Commissioner Stango. Here. Commissioner Sweeney. Commissioner Jason Van Stone. Present. Commissioner Tom Van Stone. President Brown. Present. A quorum is reached. Thank you. Commissioner Adorno, number four, please. Uh, motion to receive and place some file communications as listed. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, number five, Commissioner Hernandez. Motion to approve minutes as listed. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, don't see anybody signed up. Is there anybody from the public who did not have an opportunity to sign up that wishes to speak? Okay, seeing none, uh, we'll go to, uh, we're going to just switch a little bit and go into an executive session. Could I have a motion? Uh, motion to convene an executive session for the discussion concerning the appointment, employment, performance, evaluation, health, or dismissal of a public officer or employee. Second. Second. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Motion carries. We're going to go into the back room for a minute.
Superintendent's announcement. Thank you, Commissioner. Um, we have several announcements tonight, but I believe one of the ones would be presented by the Personnel Committee, and I will explain as uh, Commissioner Stango um, moves forward. Commissioner Stango. Just for clarification, this is item 10.1? Yes, I'm sorry, yes, 10.1, yeah. 10.1 regarding the appointment of the career and technical education supervisor. Ladies and gentlemen, with the approval of the Committee on School Personnel, the Superintendent of Schools recommends the approval of the appointment of Michael J. Marotti as the career and technical education supervisor, effective immediately, respectfully submitted, and so moved. Second. Discussion? Dr. Ruffin? Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, at this time, uh, it is uh, my recommendation that uh, Mr. Marotti is uh, selected as the supervisor of career and technical education. He comes to us with lots of experience working in career and technical education in the curriculum department as well. He has taken a the lead there. He is very knowledgeable about career pathways and opportunities for students to grow in college and career ready classes. Um, he has uh, uh, experience and successfully experience in being able to tie in the industry and to tie in internships and opportunities for students as well as preparing our teachers to teach in the field of career and technical education. Uh, before um, and any, any further comments, I would like to call on Mr. Schwartz. Uh, Mr. Schwartz, as our Chief Academic Officer, uh, will um, explain more about uh, those uh, choices and upon which we made that decision. Uh, and Mr. Schwartz is the supervisor of the supervisors of curriculum and instruction. Right. Good evening, board. Good evening. I, I am extremely pleased to introduce you, uh, Mike Marotti. He comes uh, not only number one throughout all the rounds of the interview process, uh, but with a stellar resume, uh, earning his bachelor's degree at uh, Methodist University, master's degree in secondary education from the University of Bridgeport, an educational technology certificate from Sacred Heart University, and a sixth degree, uh, six year degree in administration from Sacred Heart as well. Most recently, he's had uh, several, several positions in the area of CTE, but uh, specifically uh, from 2017, he has led Shelton Public Schools as the curriculum leader for career and technical education. He is just uh, a pleasure uh, to, to meet. He has so many great ideas. He's already becoming well entrenched in what Waterbury has to offer its students and uh, coming up with ways that we could strengthen our programs. Already familiar with Waterbury Career Academy, MASC, and uh, working with the Northwest Regional uh, Workforce Investment Board and utilizing their information to leverage our programs uh, to be the leader uh, in Connecticut. So. Uh, I am extremely pleased that Mike is coming on board, and we can't wait to welcome him. Thank you. Okay. Uh, roll call vote, please. Vice President Harvey? Yes. Commissioner Hernandez? Yes. Commissioner Serrano Adorno? Yes. Commissioner Stango? Yes. Commissioner Jason Van Stone? Yes. President Brown? Yes. Motion carries. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Good evening. Dr. Ruffin, uh, Board of Education members, uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, you, you yourselves for uh, electing me to uh, and appoint me to the position to the selection committee as I went through the interview process. I'm very excited to be here. I have a huge passion for CTE that's only grown as I've gone through my career. Um, and I saw the position available, and I know that there's a, a large opportunity available to really connect uh, our students to get them college, career, and life ready, uh, close the skills gap and um, get students available, get them ready on a career pathway earlier the better in order to become successful and keep our uh, students in Waterbury and math to become successful. So that's my overarching goal. I'm gonna hit the ground running 
and uh, I'm looking forward to the journey and uh, very excited to start. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Welcome. Thank you, and thank you, Commissioners. Um, I'd also like to uh, announce um, this evening that a director for communications has been selected. Um, her name is Shuzada Wyckoff. Uh, Sujada will be with us officially in October, and I will introduce her to everyone at that point. Uh, we believe that she will begin around October 15th, but she comes with a vast experience as a journalist as well as an anchor for NBC News. She has experience also as a teacher. She's a former science teacher. Uh, what has been very inspiring is her ability to connect the uh, marketing as well as public relations and communication skills our journalistic skills and ability to be able to think forward and to bring forward the image that we want and need for Waterbury Public Schools. She's very proactive. She has a very um, sophisticated presence, and I believe that she will be a wonderful spokesperson for the district. I look forward to having her by my side 24-7 you know, just about as we have exciting news for the district. I believe that she is also very well poised to be able to uh, establish some public media presence for us as well as the social media field and very definitely in the written and communications that we put out for our students and as well as our staff and the images that we want to portray for with all the great things that are happening in our school district. So I look forward to officially work, welcoming her in person in October, but just wanted to announce publicly that that is going to be our Director of Communications for Waterbury Public Schools. Um, a few other announcements that I would like to share. There was a, a, a very uh, well attended uh, open house for youth build. I know Commissioner Awad has worked very hard for that. Uh, there were 10 students, uh, 10 young people ages 16 to 24 that were accepted into the youth build program when the grand opening was uh, last week uh, and it was held in downtown, at that downtown location. And we had a wonderful opportunity to meet some of the students and uh, to be introduced to many of the contributors that have uh, made certain that this was available for the youth in Waterbury. Uh, the students were ready to begin. They're going to be building two houses. They're going to be uh, establishing those houses in a lower income area within Waterbury for residents. But very interestingly, they're going to be learning the trades of carpentry and plumbing and all of the skills and tools that will help them to be successful as they continue employment once they've earned their GED and continued employment uh, in a field that they choose. Um, so we're very pleased that that occurred. Uh, additionally, I had an opportunity the last couple of days to spend some time with Christian Millian, who is a former student of ours at Kennedy High School, who is now attending Yale University in his junior year, and uh, was uh, on the air with him along with Cindy Vitron and uh, the PAL Executive Director Mara Ford as um, Christian talked about his um, college planner. Uh, WATR Radio was, was instrumental in inviting us to, to talk with them, and Christian did an outstanding job talking about the College Planner. It's actually been created for students, um, by students. Uh, it is a powerful tool whereby youth can learn where scholarship opportunities are available for them, and especially for students that might be of a lower socioeconomic status to learn some of the opportunities that could 
uh, tie them into the college of their choice with little or no financial obligations afterwards. I think that that tool is going to be very beneficial to all of our students because it also allows the ease of access. Uh, it's, it's very easy to use and it provides information whereby students can have some advanced experiences by going to visit colleges and universities and maybe explore some opportunities that they never thought were going to be possible. So Christian has um, also said that he is willing to, to come back. I've asked him if he would so we could work with some of the student advisory. I have a super, uh, superintendent student advisory that will be starting up next month and uh, he is interested in coming back and perhaps going into schools with me mm -hmm. and having some dialogue with students because I do believe that students learn a lot from each other and I think he can certainly inspire them because his story inspires me as well. Um, that concludes uh, the announcements that I have for this evening, it certainly doesn't, doesn't explain everything that has been happening that's wonderful into the school district, which is another reason I'm happy that our director of communications will be here shortly. But there's some great things happening in our schools. There's some great things happening um, in our physics class over at Wilby High School and some of the students that just won third place in, in, in uh, an activity that they, pre they prepared for at, uh, at UConn and I, I, in, our, in our car race, uh, and I believe that um, more exciting things are yet to come, and I, I look forward to sharing that with you as time goes on. Great, thank you. Any questions for superintendent? Seeing none, okay. Uh, my only uh, comment tonight is to uh, uh, send our, our, our deepest condolences to uh, Commissioner Ann Sweeney, whose mom passed away uh, this week. So uh, we keep, please keep her in our prayers. That's why she's not with us this evening. Thank you. Okay. Next is the consent calendar. Would anybody like anything removed from the consent calendar? Okay. Seeing none, uh, I'll read the consent calendar. 11.1, request approval of a student intern affiliation agreement with Post University for psychology student internships. 11.2, request approval of a student intern affiliation agreement with Capella University for school counseling student internships. 11.3, request approval of an agreement with Southern Connecticut State University for type C tuition and fee waiver for district college level course offerings. That is gonna be amazing. 11.4, request approval of the submittal of the 2019-2020 Connecticut State Department of Ed Carl D. Perkins grant. 11.5, request approval of a professional service agreement with Dave Leeper Consulting for Cisco Network Engineering Services. 11.6, request approval of a professional service agreement with Utility Communications Inc for S2 service and maintenance support. 11.7, use of school facilities by school organizations and or city departments. 11.8, use of school facilities by outside organizations and or waiver requests. Could I have a motion, please? Motion to approve the consent calendar items 11.1 to 11.8. Second. Read. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Abstain? Motion carries. Thank you. No items were removed from the calendar. 13, superintendent's notification to the board. Can I have a motion, please? Motion, motion to, um, well, I just went blank. Uh, motion to receive and place on file superintendent's notification to the board. Do I have a second? Second. second. Thank you. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. Opposed, abstain, motion carries. Number 14, unfinished business of preceding meeting only. Any issues? 15, other unfinished new and miscellaneous business. Seeing none. Uh, and could I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay, motion carries, thank you. Oh my goodness, that was the fastest meeting we've ever had. <laughs>